Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtubs, uh, and welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We've stumbled upon another challenge tomb, this time using beams of light it seems. Not my favourite trope, I've got to be honest with you, but we won't let that blight our enthusiasm to get this done. Now, you may remember, on the way here we found a, um, a memo or a letter, probably not a memo, more like a letter, giving instructions of how to solve this, at least some instructions. And the first one said, mirror one to the left. So, hang on, let me just put do an L with my hand. Alright, there we go. So it's this way. Follow light to mirror I'll two. Have to find a way to lower that central pavilion. So, okay, it says turn that to the left. Now, is that mirror two? Or is that mirror two? I don't know. We'll leave that where it is. I'm not sure if it's right though. And if I jump in that in that water, am I dead? I don't think of a way to get across. Can I even move it even further? Okay, so if we turn that to the left, I don't think that'll do much of anything, but it does do something with that. Hang on. Aha! Oh, we could use that then to get across. There we go, we wouldn't have been able to previously. So that works then. It won't last long if I fall in the water. Right, the water would kill us, the rapid water, that's fine. I can understand that. That it doesn't even look like water, it looks like some weird tar. We won't go in it either way. So, mirror one to the left is complete. Follow it to mirror two. Direct the mirror two across the chamber diagonally. I mean, you could argue it already was. Unless you mean to there. No, it didn't like that. So that'll make it raise. Right, and we've spun that one. Okay, so we need to make a path. So if that one's across diagonally, hmm, unless we could jump up here, we could also use it to turn that one round. But then it says return to one. So I'm thinking now, if we go over here, this could be like the most fiddly challenge gym we've come across yet. So. Please be warned that we might be here for a while. Now if I... Oh, you get a bit stuck. Okay. If I move you there, we have just opened up another path to ourselves. Oh my god, I don't know where it has to go. Does a light have to shine on that big one at the end? I imagine so. Okay. So, alright, so all the crystals need to be lit up on that thing. I think you could argue. Maybe that's a good place to start. Alright, oh, okay. Can, can we go up further? No, just a way to get down. Kill that. Oh, and then you can get back up that way. Okay, cool. I was going to say, how long do we get back up? Right. Yeah, that makes it low. Oh, and then it blocks that light. Crap. Oh, I don't really know what's going on. Spin that round there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, okay. If I put you on there, that doesn't even spin. Doing that gets us back across. Right, I'm going to try something different now. So over we go again. Maybe I went the wrong way first of all. Yes, yeah, so that definitely has to be this straight in order to get back across. I can try getting over there. I think to get over there we need to turn this mirror. And then if as well. <laughs> a lot of ifs here. But look, that's two of them done. If we've done that. Oh, okay. If I, put, I need to put you on this one to get across. That's fine. That has messed with my plans a little bit though. Of what I was thinking. 
but now I think you can put that mirror on that ledge wave just over. That could help. Oh wait, hang on a second. Oh wait, oh, yeah, okay, okay. So if we can get over. Oh, we need to keep away for us back. Oh, I think I might have it, but we would have to backtrack a bit. So, yeah, that's going to stop us getting over. So we need to use... Oh, is that rock in the way? Is that goddamn rock in the way? Mm. But then, there is a path out here. Are you, do you help with anything? Ah, alright, cool. What's in here? We might as well read it. Learn some language while we pick our brains. The Paddler God's Ferrying Souls. Carries Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. Let it now be known. When I become an old man, I want to be known as Old Stingray Paddler. That is the coolest name I've ever heard. No one would mess with Old Stingray Paddler. You think I'm going to get robbed on the way back from the co-op with my groceries? No. They wouldn't touch Old Stingray Paddler. What a cool name for a god. I mean, Old Jaguar Paddler is not bad, but it doesn't have the same oomph. At least we've got some secret stuff there. Now I'm hoping, climbing up this way will allow us to get to the, the light that we wouldn't be able to get to. Oh, don't take me outside. No. Way out. No, I don't want to go out. Ah. <laughs> Crap. Another spanner in the works then. So we need to get... make it across. Yeah. I'll have to backtrack. Okay, I know, I know. I need to get a light onto there somehow. Now what light would do that? Oh! <gasps> we open the path for ourselves? Okay. <laughs> No! You tell me you can't. Oh, Lara! She can't grab onto that platform, which is good to know. But at least you saw the death animation for this challenge tomb if you're into that sort of thing. Well, I know what I have to do. It's just how I do it. I'm thinking we need to go to that one again. So, let's do this as quick as possible. But we will have to turn this in the meantime. Come on. Right. This is the annoying part, I'm to spin all these around. Unless, can you get to that one? No, you don't do it, do you? You should be able to spin that, actually. I mean, it looks to me... Oh, does this need to be lowered first? Oh, God, oh, God, okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> I really hope we can figure it out this episode. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't take me, like, 40 minutes. Oh no, how did I spin? Oh, I've got to go back again. I might cry. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere, but I'm not quite sure. I've been on this for about 10-15 minutes so far, but finally made a bit of headway. Um, because I wasn't speaking while I was figuring a lot of it out, it's going to make it a little bit tricky to explain. But, first of all, you need to turn this mirror over to this one here. Then you go over to that mirror, and you send it over to that second platform, so it's straight up. You come back to this first mirror, and you put it on this platform here, so it straightens up. You jump all the way across. When you get to that far mirror, known as Mirror 3, you turn it round onto the one you just came from, and that will send it back straight so you can get back across. Then, <laughs> when you come over here, you turn this mirror onto here, jump over to Mirror 2, turn Mirror 2 back over there so you've got a way back across, and now we're up to where, I'm not quite sure. I think we have to... Put it over there. Oh, hang on. Put it over there. So that will straighten up. Now, thankfully, this stays how it was. We can get back over. And then what we'll do, you may have already figured it out, you put Mirror 2 onto that platform there. And that will give us a bridge across to Mirror 4, I think, which we haven't ever reached yet. Then we have the problem of making them all light up the, the crystals on the thing, on the actual main platform. But anyway, hopefully that has cleared some things up if you're stuck on this yourself. So, we're not out of the woods yet, but we can see the clearing. Right, over we go. 
This is brand new. We've never done this part yet. Nice. That's what we want to see. Now the thing we need to work out is whether Mirror 4 goes straight onto a gem on the platform, whether we need it to get back across. Is there anything here of interest? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Let's have a look at you. Always fun to learn languages in challenge tombs. Oh, 93%, so close. A depiction of Chak. Chak was a very important god to the Maya. He taught them farming secrets and oversaw growing in the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black, representing north, east, south, and west. Shark sounds awesome. He had a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. No wonder he's a bit unpredictable. If it all got too much, you'd have like an episode where just blow wind everywhere, maybe? A bit like me. So what do we do with this one? We put it on there. How many gems are on that thing? There might only be three gems. Maybe we use that to straighten up. How do I get back across? Oh, I did not consider how I get back across. I think we can climb up there. Okay. So now we have the issue of lighting up all the, the platforms in the middle. I really hope we've done the right thing with that one. I don't want to go back across. Probably will have to. So I see one, two... Oh yeah, I think there's only three. There is only three. That's great. So, what do we do with the first one? Now I think what we do with you... Ah, it's going to be a bit annoying. Because I think that needs to keep that mirror in the distance lit up. So that's probably the wrong place to put it, if you ask me. So I also need to get over. Alright, well let's get over first. I think we need to work backwards. Almost definitely have to do that mirror in the far corner first, and then work backwards from there. So again, it's going to be the technique where you use two mirrors on one platform to make it pause. Okay. And then move that one. Like. Oh, see? Yeah, okay. So if we put this over there. No, that doesn't work. That's fine, maybe, because we put it over there. We need the platform to be raised, don't we? Oh god. I think I've messed up again. I think I may have messed up. Oh. Yeah, I think I know what I have to do. Thinking what I should have done is keep that. Put this one on there. Will it even lock on? Yeah, okay. I think that's locked on. So let's try this again. Keep that safe on there, because when we get over to Mirror 3, we need it. We need a way to get back. Still don't know if that's right, though. So, we'll soon find out. Back over. Oh, it's so annoying. I get a solution in my head, but then I forget it immediately. <laughs> Maybe I should be writing this stuff down, but I don't want to kind of make up some weird mirror graph. I've only got a post it in front of me. So, of course... We need to do the old back and forth between one and two. Like that. Oh, come on. Help me out, light. And then this needs to also go on this one. It's the most annoying part. Once we have to go back and forth for the same one. Now it's all about where I put this next one. So I need a way to get over there, which can only be done by 
Mirror one, I think, because that's too short. Yeah, okay. So maybe you go on like that. Maybe. I'm not completely sure, though. We use mirror one to make our path across. On this one. Come on, keep going. It really slows down when it gets over the crystals, which is a bit of a pain. I imagine them is really hard to push, right, Lara? Is that what it is? They're really strong. Which is fine. I get that. I appreciate it. But I just want to get this puzzle over and done with because I've been here for so long. Okay. Progress, I think. I think we can say progress. Now we're here. I need you to go on there. Now we're going to get all three gems lit up, but then that platform needs to be straight, and we need to do that with number four. So I hope that's correct at the moment. Oh, God. What have I got up here? There's only one way to find out. Really, I'm hoping we don't have to come back over this side. Now that that's on the gem. So, as an experiment, we will put this on the last one. So that's good, I think, but the things aren't all straight. I don't even know how I get up there in the first place. <laughs> oh, crap. Did to shine a light right through? Oh, I actually have no idea what's going on at all. Alright, well... How do we do that? <laughs> How do I get back over again? If I go here. So light free is in the correct place. Never needs to move again. I hope anyway. I really, really hope. Then you. Oh, how many times we've done this? Wrong way. You go over here. Come on. I mean, I do enjoy puzzle solving, but I do worry how entertaining it makes the videos. You just see me jump across the same couple of ledges again and again. But have faith in me. I may figure it out. Aha, you bastard. You're stopping it from raising. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a huge spanner in the works. A huge, huge spanner. If I put that there, it doesn't even fit. Oh, I may cry. Unless you fit on there. No, you're too low. I can't believe it. I'm really stuck now. <laughs> Crap. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think I might have accidentally done it. I really can't explain what is going on here, but let me just try something out. Now, we've put that one straight. I think that could be it. I've got a feeling I was looking at it all wrong, which I hope is the case. Let me just get back over and you can maybe see what I mean. I think the issue is I'm not trying to raise the platform, it was meant to keep it lowered. This whole time I was thinking it needs to be raised, but no, obviously we couldn't jump on it before, do you remember? And we died. So now that it's lowered, we can then. Hopefully, make that jump and get across to the statue. I think that's what it is. Yes, okay. Now, you're probably asking, what the hell did you do? I can't remember in the slightest. So, mirror one has to end up over to that platform there. Mirror two has to end up... I think that mirror two has to end up... Uh, I did move it. Mirror two was keeping that one straight, okay? So, mirror three has to end up on that one and mirror four needs to light up your platform there I really hope that helps I mean this isn't meant to be like a guide or a walkthrough more of a let's play but if you are stuck on this hopefully that has um, helped you with how to deal with this tricky challenge tomb and I believe we're at the end please <laughs> I hope I haven't got ahead of myself go Lara yes you did it amazing my god I'm so grateful for that
I got a real sense of pride for doing that all myself. I was very tempted to think, look, hang on, I've been on this for like 20 minutes. I'm wasting hard drive space with footage here. How about I just Google it? But no. We persevered and we came out on top. Now what is the skill we get for that? Now to find a way out of here. What's that say? Hotsin's hunger increases the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each source. I don't know if I'm happy with that reward, but we'll take it anyway. At least we got it, which is the main thing. Now Lara was worried about a way out, but if you remember, we already know what that is. Oh my god. We nearly died to our death there. But man, that was definitely a challenge too. Worthy of the name. Trickiest puzzle yet. Like I said, the, the trope of like light mirrors and that that you see in video games, I hate. And that was no exception. But we've done it. The way out is through here. We still need to find them outcasts. No idea how we're getting on with that. There was two more, but then the map sort of got kind of awkward to read. They're not even showing up either, which is worrying. It should do. There we go. See, so yeah, there's one meant to be very close. I'm hoping we'll get them on the way out of this tomb. It's the only thing I can I can think of. Okay, now climb up here. Oh, I'm so happy it's done. I was thinking this is going to be so annoying. I spent forever not knowing how to get out of here. Okay, okay. We're not quite out yet. Seems that that's a bit too high to jump up. Uh, where'd you have to go? It's got to be up, hasn't it? There we go. I just didn't do it right the first time. Get up there. Yep. Yeah. And then do we grapple down? Probably. And you want me to swing to that point there? Have we not done enough? I'm exhausted. Uh, how do I do this? Easy now. You've got it, Lara. One more. I think you'll be fine. Perfect. And in terms of map, we're going away from where we need to be. We break through there. Okay. Oh, or we could go on that way. But I think this might be a secret. Oh no, this is just... Oh, this is how we started the whole thing, I think. We're at a diving point here. Yeah, we came through there, didn't we? So we go back through, just to double check this. <laughs> I know it could be a silly waste of time. But that's how we started this whole journey. Yeah, we swung. So we've just done a, a big, big loop. Oh, right. So if you thought that puzzle was hard enough, now we've got to try and work out where on earth is this person? They're in this area, of course, but where? Because we've been all through here. They've got to be on at that point. I don't know how we get up to there. <laughs> that was risky, I know. But I think that's how we get to them. There's no NPCs in this bit. You know, but I'm going to have a little look around because I need to just try and concentrate and think. I've begun about that outcast all wrong. Again, same sort of deal with the challenge tomb. We was concentrated on searching up, but if you head down to the river, there's an underpass here. So if this doesn't make a lot of sense to you, we were searching up in this bit, but we was high up. Basically, you walk towards here and then drop down. I mean, head for the river is the best advice I can give, and then into this little cave. I think we just discovered a base camp here. And then I think this is the outcast because they shine green. Sure. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident. Because of something I did, and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, 
I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. The hell, Chaska? What's wrong with you? Are you deluded? That has not worked out well for you at all. You're not... You're not a thief at all. You took the rap for a young girl who should know better. Oh my, I can't believe it. it. Must be crazy. You think I'd ever do like anything like that for anyone? No way. I'd let them take the blame 100%. In fact, I'd probably try and shift the blame onto someone else. Get it away from me. God, that girl, she must be laughing all the way to the bank of her good life. <laughs> Knowing she can steal and see the old, what's your name? Shaka will take the blame for it. I can't believe that. Well, anyway, it doesn't bother us. It's another outcast found and spoken to. What we found here. Yes, we're not another language. Coronation. Kiara to approach the throne through the crowd. She walked beside it, but did not sit. Why do we continue to believe this lie? She asked the crowd. Kukul Khan controls this city, and I will no longer wear a smile and pretend it is any different. I will not be his puppet, trotted out to wave and smile. The guards cut her off quickly and ushered her away. Then they advanced, with weapons drawn to disperse the crowds. Oh, this is how good. They killed a, a mob of innocent people. Oh, this is uh, this place is not quite as good as I thought it was. I mean, coupled between the toughest challenge scene we found and like a really tricky side quest. But you know what? I have no concepts of time. Usually I am um, trying to confine myself to sort of half hour episodes, but we got so stuck on that challenge tomb, I've been going for like, almost an hour here. I don't know how long this is going to be, but I'm going to take a risk and think it would be good to end it there. My reason being, we can tie things up nicely with the quest in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this Let's Play of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, please give it a leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, I hope my example of the challenge tomb here really helped you. I'm sorry if my explanations were all over the place, because it was very tricky to get my head around. I wasn't setting out to make a guide anyway, but it might have gave you some tips if you're stuck there yourself. But anyway, please go ahead and subscribe. I can bring any more of that to you. Got any questions you want to raise? What do you think of that silly, silly outcast there? Would you ever take the blame like that for someone? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm morally bankrupt. But leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you.